we've got a user group question here. <clears throat> Uh, how can I create a basic website in Azure? Oh, that's a great question. I don't want to use a VM and don't really like WordPress. I just need to show some basic pages and all of them are pretty much static. Yeah, so this came from a user group uh, that I, uh, a user group person that I had spoken to a couple of weeks ago. And what they were trying to do is they basically, they've never had a website before. And I should say that they, they've had a website, but it was like they created one when it was cool to create one. And it just kind of, they didn't do anything with it, right? When did it stop being cool, Mike? Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, uh, but it was, a, it was a family thing, right? So he, he created a website for his family and they share photos and stuff, but he really, he used WordPress and he didn't like using the, the wordpress.com site is what he did. He used that um, and he didn't like doing that. So he's, he's, he's like, you know, I got these Azure credits he has his, uh, you know, uh, the new uh, free Azure tier, and he has the Azure credits. He's like, well, I just want to host this kind of a, uh, a couple pages up in in Azure, you know, and link back to some of this family stuff I have, right, uh, or link to it. And I'm like, that's really easy to do, uh, you know. And I said, well, you know, first thing I said is, you know, are you talking about just you know pretty much static stuff? And he goes, well. Yeah, mostly static and maybe, you know, I'll have some, you know, kind of cool stuff in there. And I'm like, OK, you have to make that decision because in Azure, uh, as part of storage uh, in Azure, a storage account in Azure, you can actually create a static website inside of a storage account. Uh, there's no cost to do this. All you're paying for is the storage of the page itself, of the pages themselves. And it's as easy as going into, uh, I put the link in there. Uh, in the uh, the sheet, uh, but it's easy as going into uh, the, the storage account and one of the options uh, into, uh, on that storage account is static website. You click on that, you slide the uh, slider over to enable. It asks you, you know, it gives you the URL that it'll be at. It gives you, you know, that you can specify your index.html file, which is your landing page. Um, and then it takes you to the actual repository or the container in the storage account, then you just click upload. You can upload your files directly into that container and then the website is live. I mean, it, it, yeah, it's that simple. It literally takes about two or three minutes to set up a static website. It's that simple. Yeah. Um, and, you know, you have some options with it. You can do HTTPS, you can do SSL and stuff like that. But if you want to go any deeper, then you have to start looking into a uh, what they call a you know application, a web application, or a CDN, a content delivery network within Azure. Uh, but for a basic static website, it's really cool, really easy, um, and you know it might serve your purpose well. That's neat to know. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Yeah. And knowing is half the battle. That's right. G.I. <laughs> Joe. <laughs>